Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick tutorial for you. Today, we are going to create a title for Final Cut Pro utilizing the long shadow effect. We're going to show you how to do that. We're going to utilize Motion 5 to do it, but don't worry. As always, if you don't have Motion 5, we're going to give that plugin away for you. All right, let's just jump straight into things. First thing that we are going to do is we're going to grab this text tool and we are going to type out some text because we are doing shadow text. We are going to type in shadow text and we're going to adjust the size just to, you know, kind of fit it nicely in the bottom corner. So that is looking pretty good there. And we're just going to move it into our bottom left hand corner of the screen. So now we're going to move up and we are going to select the behaviors. We're going to go down to text energetic and we are going to select bounce in. So the text is just going to bounce in. Now, I don't want all those letters coming in at once. I want it to kind of be a staggered effect. So what we are going to do is we're going to select word and that should make it so one word then the other bounces in. So that is all looking pretty good. But again, this isn't exactly what I want to occur. I don't want it to come down from the top. I want it essentially to bounce in from the bottom. So from there, what we are going to do is we are going to go into the keyframe editor. We are going to select that first keyframe and we are just going to make that negative 400 and 22.9 and that should take care of things bouncing in they should bounce in from the bottom now when we scrub through and there you go so again that looks good as we scrub through so now we're going to do something a little different. Uh, you can make extended shadows using the replicator, but we're gonna do something a little bit different here. We're gonna select the text and we are going to duplicate that layer. And we're gonna do this for a very good reason. So you can see both text runs exactly the same. Uh, there is no difference there. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up to filters. We are going to select stylize and we are going to select extrude for the bottom text. So you can see that the uh, lettering is extended out. What we're going to do is we're going to change that angle to give it a uh, kind of a angle off to the side. So it sort of shoots off the screen. And then what we're going to do is we are going to extend that distance. So when it bounces in now, you've got that nice extended sort of shadow from behind the text. So as you can see in that, there is some depth to the lettering there. You know, the shadows the extrude from behind kind of gives a little bit of a 3D look. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is on that bottom layer is I'm gonna bump up the front brightness and the back brightness. So it just basically washes out the color completely. And now because our lettering is white, you can see ultimately why we created that duplicate layer because the white lettering is completely absorbed. But now if we change it, we have a nice shadow. And the nice thing about doing it this way as well is that you can select not only the color of your text, but you can also select the shadow color as well. So you can make them two completely different things that allow us to create a variety of different looks if this isn't the color scheme that we are going for. So you can see when we turn it off there uh, where the shadow is and where the lettering is. Now we've got it building in, so we have the shadows popping in. Now I just want it to pop out, so we need to take care of that. And all we're gonna simply do here is go back to the behaviors and select text continuous, and then we're going to select bounce out and that will allow us to have the text bounce out of the frame 
and we're going to probably set that right about here. Now you can see what's happening because we have two layers that it's only going to affect the one that we apply to. So that's to the shadows. The shadows are simply going to bounce out. So we're going to move back to the top there and we're going to do the same thing with the other group of text. We are going to go down. Uh, we're going to select text energetic and we are going to, of course, select the same thing again, bounce out. And we're going to move that to the exact same place in the playhead uh, so that both sections of text move at the same time. So there isn't, you know, kind of a delay. So there we go. Bouncing in a few seconds of showing it and of course, bouncing out. So that's exactly what I want. However, you notice right off the hop that my timeline is way too long here. So now what we're going to do is click on project. We're going to go to the properties there and we're going to change the duration. We're going to switch that to 110 frames in this case. And ultimately what we are going to have is a nice trimmed line and you can see it pops in, stays for a while and pops out. All right, guys, that's how you create the effect. It is that easy. As I mentioned before, we are going to give you the plugin down below. You can download that and we've made it so you can adjust the colors on the fly as well as the color of the shadows and as well change the angle of the long shadow so it can work from both the left and right sides. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get notifications and until next time, see ya.